Once we've chosen the proper selection and condition parameters, we now must decide whether or not we'd like to download all of the fittings on the drawing or all the fittings in our selection set at once or break them into predefined groups. Currently under selection, we've chosen to download fittings on the entire drawing. For conditions, we have selected all the different fittings by checking each library. Currently, we have not specified any specific conditions for these fittings. We're just going to download all the fittings on the drawing. However, going into the group tab, we can now decide, do we want to download them all in one large takeoff, or should we break them up into intelligent groups based on conditions we decide so that when they get downloaded to Practicam, they're already split up into these groups. In order to do that, we must first decide how many groups we'd like to use. Currently on our drawing, we have a duct system that consists of three different colors, green, blue, and yellow. The green duct happens to be drawn with six inch water gauge specification. This is going to represent our high pressure group. The yellow duct was drawn with a two inch water gauge specification. This is going to represent our low pressure group. And the blue duct happens to be under the fabrication level order only because this duct we're buying and we'd like to order it. So we'd like three groups, high pressure, low pressure, and order. So what we're going to do is bring our export window back up we're underneath the group tab and we're now going to create a group by clicking on the add icon the green check when we do that practicat is going to ask us to name a group we're going to call this group order we're going to hit enter once we've named the group practicat is now going to ask us what conditions do the fittings have to meet in order to be part of the group order so what we're going to do here is we're going to open up our condition set and there are tutorials under the condition tabs that explain how to utilize these conditions. Here we have all the properties in the software and the one we're going to use for the group order is going to be fabrication level. We're going to hit F, it's going to jump right over to the F parameters and we're going to say fabrication equals and we're going to choose order. Here you can see the three fabrication levels. So by doing this we're now going to have a group created called order if some of the duct in our selection criteria has the fabrication level equaling order. Next what we're going to do is we're going to hit add again and we're going to add a second group. We're going to just call it high pressure. We'll call it HP. Here what we're going to do is say if duct and we're going to hit the letter S for specification. It's going to bring us to our S parameters. We're going to say if specification equals six inch water gauge we want it to go to the high pressure group so we've chosen the condition specification equals six inch water gauge now what we're going to do is we're going to hit add one more time and we're going to choose the low pressure we're going to write low pressure and low pressure is going to be if the specification equals and we'll say two inch for this tutorial specification equals two inch and that's going to be the duct that's going to classify the group low pressure you will notice when you add more to this list that Practicat will open up the delete icon to delete plus the up and down arrows. For example, we have LP lit. If we hit up, it's going to move it up in order and down, down in order. Now, order of conditions is important. And under the tutorials for the Practicat layer mechanism, we show and explain why you want to order things properly. Practicat, when it goes to decide, what should go in what group is always going to start with the first choice here see if the conditions meet the selection criteria and if it does it's going to put it under order if it doesn't meet these conditions it's going to jump to the next and say does my specification equal six inch water gauge if the answer is yes it goes in the group high pressure if it doesn't meet those conditions it'll jump to the next one and so on please watch the tutorials on how to design the practicat layer mechanism and ordering. Once we've got our group set, now what we can do is press OK. When we do that, it's going to export all of our duct. But you can see before it exports it, it's sorted into a group high pressure, order, and low pressure. And when it comes into Practicam, Practicam is going to design takeoffs 
and the name of these group is going to be embedded into those takeoff. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to press OK and export the duct. And now we're going to jump to Practicam and show you how it would be sorted inside Practicam. Here we're inside Practicam and you can see that after we've downloaded the duct off our drawing, Practicad had created the name, and this is job name, Practicad training videos, the drawing name, which we called exporting automatics, and we'll show you where that is in a minute. And then it designed three separate takeoffs based on the group name, high pressure, and inside the high pressure, all the high pressure fittings. Low pressure, underneath low pressure, we have all the low pressure fittings. And under order, you can see that we have all the fittings that should be ordered. You'll notice that the fabrication level over here on the right happens to say order, 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 order. So groups will automatically download from Practicad to Practicam and they'll be designed into separate takeoffs. This will make it easier for nesting, sorting, and inputting. Jumping back to Practicad, you can see up here that we had named the job Practicad Training Videos. We had named the drawing Exporting Automatics. So Practicad used these names to create those folders, and then it used the group names to create the names of the takeoffs in Practicam.